Anna's specialty on uh, on Mehala is cleaning the rigging and cleaning any stainless steel. So that's what she's doing right now. Look, she's very the serious. Rust. The rust, yeah. These are all bits from the um, from the anchor, the swivel from the anchor chain, and. Uh, it's all getting very rusty, it's stainless steel, but it needs a good scrub every now and then. And Anna is very serious when she does work, she doesn't talk, which is good. Action, <laughs> that's what we want, just action. Huh? And the chain is all around here, getting primed first. This is a white primer. What did you do to eat? Well, we regalvanized it, if that's what you mean. We regalvanized it and uh, all the markings obviously are gone. So we just put in some special primer, super duper expensive primer, which is probably a big waste of money, but we're gonna do it anyway. And then uh, we're gonna mark it with different colors. That's the anchor over here. So all the bits that Anna is cleaning and they will all go on back on the anchor. When we had it regalvanized, the guys at the workshop drilled a hole in our anchor don't know why i think they they wanted to find out what's inside it if it's lead or something it will react very badly with the golf so yeah it's all going we were in french polynesia when we heard the story of a shattered dream because of a rusty chain failure the boat ended up on a reef in the Caribbean whilst the owners were watching their dream fade away. By the time we reached New Zealand, our 8mm anchor chain was still in a good state, but half of it was pretty rusty. We had three options. Keep it as was and swap it around, replace the chain or galvanize it. We went for the latter as it was the most cost-effective and sustainable option. Overnight, we were having a fully reconditioned chain and anchor at half the price of new. You may ask yourself, why splicing rope to an anchor chain? Well, there are at least two reasons for it. One is to minimize weight on your boat, rope obviously being lighter than the chain. Two, in case of an emergency whilst at anchor, it is quicker to cut a rope rather than a chain. Getting the 80 meters of chain we have on the boat back in its locker, it's not an easy task. We had to do a few tricks up and down the ladder, make sure nothing is twisted, turned or blocked and steady, we got it all back in, eventually. Since I've got into splicing, I might as well just carry on splicing. Then I splice, 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 splice. <laughs> This is our anchor chain snabber. Uh, sailors will be familiar. You hook it on the chain, you put this on a cleat, and it sort of takes that uh, jerky movement and the noise from the anchor 
from the chain pulling uh, against the windlass and the boat. So this will uh, absorb some of that movement through this. And I just came across the rope this morning and I thought we can have this, can we? Now that we're splicing. So, look at this. Wow, that's what a beauty, pretty. Eh? Yeah? Yeah. That's what we're up to. Wow. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this channel, please subscribe, comment, give us the thumbs up and share. Thank you.